Right, okay, let's do this again. Chortle, chortle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Uh, this setting looks familiar, doesn't it? This is, uh, we've all seen this before. Uh, anybody who watches my video will know that last night I uploaded a video of this van giveaway. Uh, and the problem with that was two things. Uh, it was online for about an hour before I had to take it down. Uh, and the reason why is simple. There were two errors I made. The first one is that when I set up a GoFundMe link uh, where you have to donate, um, I was blissfully unaware that the minimum donation is five pounds. Uh, and of course my tickets were a pound each. So the main problem was that people were trying to donate and they couldn't donate a pound. And I, I still don't understand why on a, a donation website you can't just donate a pound. Maybe not everybody's got a fiver to donate. I don't know. Anyway, the minimum donation is actually five pounds now because the minimum is five pounds on GoFundMe. So if you want to have a chance to win this van, the tickets are five pounds each. If you want two tickets, it's a tenner, three, 15. You do the maths, you can work it out yourself. Now, there was also a bit of confusion over whether it was a lottery, a raffle, a giveaway. Uh, you know, there was a lot of confusion. So uh, technically, this is the technical term for this. This is a prize skill competition that is the i'm not lying that is the official term for this i've actually googled it uh, i will leave a link to the uh, gambling commission page on prize skill competitions down in the description so you can have a look for yourself um, so basically the way this differs from the video that i uploaded last night is that i have to ask you a question if you want to enter this competition you have to answer a question correctly um, and we've all seen them on daytime TV and stuff when you, you know, you can win a holiday to Gibraltar or somewhere and you have to answer what is basically a really, really simple question. We wonder why do they bother putting it? Well, it's because of this. It's just gambling rules and stuff. Um, so basically, are you ready for it? This, this is the question that you have to answer correctly if you want to have a chance to win this van. Are you ready? How many wheels does this van have? Does it have one wheel, two wheels, three wheels? This is so stupid. Or four wheels. If you think you can answer that question correctly, then all you've got to do is head to my GoFundMe page, which I'll leave a link in the description below. Head to that web page, and on the web page where you go to donate, you will see this page here. Now, at the bottom, you're going to see this little box somewhere around about here. I will try and highlight it, okay? Uh, in that box, you need to put your answer, whether you think this van has one, two, three, or four wheels. If you get the question wrong, then to stay within the parameters of the law, I am legally obliged to have to refund you your money, okay? Uh, if you get the question correct, then great, you're in the competition, best of luck, hope you win. Uh, now, the other thing, uh, the net proceeds of uh, all of these donations will be going to the NIC Bursary Fund, which is basically is a bursary fund to help young people into the industry. So they, these young people will, uh, they'll be given, I think it's about 500 quid each, uh, and they can buy tools, uh, literature, materials, all that sort of stuff, basically to help young people into the industry, give them a start on the ladder. Um, now, if you would actually just like to donate uh, to the cause and you don't want to win the van, that's absolutely fine. You're perfectly entitled to do that. All I would ask that you do is when this page comes up, just leave a note in this box that you just want to donate to charity. And that way I will remove your name from the prize draw on the 5th of November. Uh, you're not winning the building behind it. You're not winning the pigeons in the air. You're not winning me. Okay, you're just winning the van. Okay, I have to make it clear what you're winning, apparently, to stay within the parameters of the law. Okay, so that's all the legalities taken care of. Uh, now, while I'm here, ITS actually, because I've had to come back again to record this, uh, ITS have actually uh, managed to get together the tools that will be going with the van. Uh, so I'll show you those now. Okay, so on the high-tech trolley of awesomeness, we have. Uh, we've got the Stanley work bag, uh, we've got a tool belt, we've got, uh, what have we got here, some we're screwdrivers, folding knife, uh, the NWS kit, exceptionally good kit, uh, little ITS multi Swiss Army knife thing, some weir screwdrivers, in fact we've got two sets of screwdrivers, I might ask them to change that, um, but anyway yeah, a bloody nice hammer, socket tester, punch down tool, NWS cutters, some cable ties, can't have too many cable ties. Uh, one of those, what else have we got? Spirit level, Stanley Fat Max, very good, I can recommend those highly. A Sealy crimping tool, uh, LED work light, uh, a tape measure, a dry lining saw, and about 20 million rolls of electrical tape. So you will get all of those tools thrown in, okay? All brand new, all courtesy of ITS, okay? So if you win the prize draw for the van, then you will win these tools with it as well. These will be going away with the van. 
And uh, please, before you enter the competition, please make sure you check out my terms and conditions. I will leave a link for those in the description, which will take you to a separate we external website where you can see all of the terms and conditions. Please make sure you're happy with those before you enter the competition. I'll go through some of the bits and pieces that I've done to it in the time I've had it. Obviously, you've got the 18-inch rims, the sidebars, the rear skirts, um, the nudge bar, the angel lights on the front, um, all the usual sort of blingy bits. Mechanically, she's been really good. I know in the last, I know back in January, it had uh, had new discs and pads all around, uh, new shocks all around, new springs all around, new calipers all around, new alternator, new drive belt, new wheel bearings all around, because the back ones were starting to grow in a bit, new handbrake cables. She, I know she's had more stuff done. What I'll do, I'll leave a link to all the stuff that I've done, in because it went in in January or February into the shop for all this work. I'll leave a link for all the bits it's had done in the description, so you can see what it is. Uh, so you can see, you can see what, what it's had done. So what's going to happen is when the van is sold, once, uh, once we do the raffle, the raffle is going to be in November. It's going to be held on the 5th of November, all right? And once w I select a winner, I'm just going to use a random, like a Google random thing to bring up a random winner, all right? Whoever wins it, uh, when you pick it up, I will put four new tyres on it. I will have it serviced, it will be valeted, and I'll put 12-month MOT on it as well. And it will have a full tank of gas, all right? Now, as for what's going with the van, now the roof rack on the top, that will stay with the van. Obviously, I need my ladders, but the roof rack on the top, the strobes, the LED lights, that will all stay on the van. Now, you'll have to forgive the, <laughs> you'll have to forgive the inside of the van. I was going to clean it for this, but never got around to it. All of this racking, that will all stay. Um, all of these uh, silicon holders, the spray gun holders, all of this will all stay. Um, the racking there, that will all stay, because that can all go with it. The ply lining, that can go with it, obviously. And then around the back, so in the back here, all of this racking here, the tubs, um, all of that will go with the van. Uh, bench, uh, all this up here, that'll all go with it. All the racks here, that'll all go. Uh, the hot water sink, uh, that'll go with the van as well. Let me tell you, once you've had a hot water sink in your van, you just, you'd never have, you'd never buy another van and not have it in it. They're just, they're fantastic. Uh, so that'll go with the van, the soap, the dispenser, that'll go with it. All of these, the hand sanitizer, all of that will come with the van as well. LED lights on the roof, that'll go with the van as well. All right, and you get the high security locks as well, obviously, because they're on the van. But yeah, I'll leave a link below for all the service work I've done on it and stuff. Um, but she runs like a Swiss watch, you know, she's... You know, starts all right, stops all right. She's good as gold. The interior's all right, it's not too shabby. A little bit of wear on the seat there, but nothing to write home about. She's not ripped or anything. Um, Otherwise, it's all right, it's absolutely fine. And that's basically about it, boys and girls. So that's the van. It would be the perfect van. If, you've, if you're an apprentice just about to come out of your time and you need a set of wheels and you need tools from ITS, this would be perfect. You get the whole lot in one package, all right? Um, that's basically about it. The draw ends on the 4th of November and it'll be drawn on the 5th of November, all right? What I'll do, I'll probably do a live I'll probably do a live stream of the draw. Otherwise, that's about it. Um, so, thank you very much for watching.